And my motto is I keep my eyes on the prize. Never backing down from a challenge or a fight. I am doing what gives me the most joy. Mayor Karen Bass. Yes. So Mayor Bass, are you used to the title? I'm beginning to get used to it. The mayor and I sat down inside Los Angeles City Hall recently to talk about her first couple of months and plans going forward. What's the biggest difference in going from Congress to being mayor? One is the authority. You know, in Congress, I was one of 435. Now as mayor, she is chief executive. Are there issues that keep you up at night? What keeps me up at night right now is my desire to have enough immediate housing to deal with the volume of encampments that we have. An estimated 40,000 Angelinos live on the streets. What I did on day one, like I said I would, I put the city in a state of emergency because from my point of view, what is happening on our streets is similar to a natural disaster. This is where our focus is going to be. Can I ask the difference in what you're proposing now, what's been proposed in the past? A sense of urgency. The state of emergency allows the mayor to take housing action quickly without further approval from city council. She and the council agreed the magnitude of the crisis justifies bypassing regulatory red tape. Three to five people die every day on our streets. What about the communities? A lot of people still are having pushback, building homes for the unhoused in their backyards. How do you feel about that? And is the city prepared to let, well, we're going to do that anyway. What neighborhoods resist more than anything is you imposing something on them. We have to build housing everywhere. Also saying to them, if not here, then where? What's the most difficult thing? that you're facing right now? Is it that timeline? We have these international events coming up. I mean, 2026, we have the World Cup. 2028, we have the Olympics. So I feel that pressure as well. You can't hide 40,000 people. In politics, you meet this one, that one. Is there ever a time where you feel you owe people something? Or do they come to you looking for favors? Yes, people do. How do you navigate all that? The style of leadership is servant leadership. Um, and so it's my job to serve the people. I asked about ongoing complaints about the LAPD. She said it can't be separated from our epidemic of mental illnesses. That is something that is of deep concern to me because one of the reasons why you see a lot of officer-involved deaths is because we have divested from social services and, and the safety net and we dump all of society's problems on the police. Long before she ever ran for office, a young Karen Bass worked in healthcare. From that experience, it became crystal clear. It's pretty hard to de-escalate somebody who is actively hallucinating and is having a psychotic break. Something officers can't be expected to do without mental health backup. If officers had not just the training, training alone is not enough, but the resources where a mental health provider might go instead of a police officer. First woman mayor, first black woman mayor. How significant is your gender and your race in your role as mayor? It means that there's higher expectations of you. Uh, and I feel that responsibility. There are still a lot of young people that are cynical yeah. about uh, politics. Oh, I understand why anybody is cynical, I do. But I feel that it is my job as an elected official to explain myself. The fight for justice is one that never ends. And so it's my responsibility to make sure that the young people come behind me uh, are well trained. After decades holding office in the state assembly, Congress, and now city hall, Mayor Bass expects to help many, frustrate some, and possibly make a few new enemies. But I've always been focused on the issue, why I am doing what I'm doing. I have enjoyed every day so far.